Welcome to Mastering Mel for Maya, a free companion to my popular Python for Maya course linked in the video description below. This introductory video course will take you from the very basics of Mel to building simple user interfaces for tools. Programming is a valuable skill even for artists because it can help you work faster and have more hiring potential. I'm Dhruv Govil, a lead pipeline developer who's worked on movies like Spider-Man Homecoming, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. In part one of this video series, we'll go over what Mel is and how to use the Maya script editor to write your very first small script. Mel is one of Maya's four programming languages, alongside Python, C++, and C Sharp. It's a Maya-specific language, short for the Maya embedded language, that can be used to work faster and build custom tools. While C++ and C Sharp require being compiled before loading, and are often better suited for creating custom Maya nodes, commands, and plugins, Mel and Python can be written and run interactively inside of Maya. Python, however, can also be used to write Maya plugins and can also be used outside of Maya, which makes it a lot more versatile than Mel. That said, a lot of Maya is built around Mel and is very useful to know, and it is a lot easier to learn. If you are interested in learning Python, check out my Python for Maya course linked in the video description. You can write Mel inside the Maya script editor, which you can access in a few ways. The first is by going to Windows, General Editors, Script Editor. This opens up the script editor window. You can also access this window by clicking on the shortcut button in the bottom right corner of the Maya main window. Finally, you can also convert any viewport into the script editor by going to Panels, Panel, and click on Script Editor. Inside the script editor, we have two panes. The top pane is where the output is of any commands that Maya runs. And down here is where we write our code. There are two tabs, this Mel and Python, and each one is specific to the language and won't support the other. If you want to add new tabs, you can click on the little plus button here and choose the language. For now, let's not create a new tab. Let's write our first script. We're going to say print, and in double quotes, we'll say hello, and put your name here. In my case, my name is Dhruv, so I'm going to say hello Dhruv, and I'll close it out with the double quotes. Finally, I'll end the line with a semicolon. I can run this in either of two ways. I can click on the double arrows up here, or I can select it and hit Control Enter. Maya tells us the command that we just ran. And following that, it gives us the output. And just like we told it to, it says, hello, throve. We can also run this by clicking on the double arrows. And again, it tells us the command that it, we ran, and then it gives us the output. To finish up this video, let's look into creating a cube instead of printing a name. First. Let me open up a perspective view, and I'll convert this viewport into the script editor so we can see what I'm doing. I'm now going to use the polycube command, which creates a cube. So I type polycube, and then I'll click on the double arrows to run it. And you can see, inside of my viewport, I now have a cube created by the polycube command. In the rest of this video series, we'll be going more in depth into Mel and how to use it to tame Maya. If you're interested in learning more about programming inside of Maya, check out my popular Python for Maya course, which is linked in the video description below.